This is Ben Baller's best card in Project 2020. But right now, get those print run guesses in. The person who guesses close to the print run will win a free copy of this card. So I really hope you had some time last night to watch the video from last night and get that print run guess in for the Ben Baller, Jackie Robinson. And welcome to episode number 136 of the Project 2020 Nightly News. My name is Chris, otherwise I'm on Twitter and Instagram is at CRT underscore sports cards. And my website, CRTSportsCards.com, is where you want to go for everything related to Project 2020. Whether it be this year, next year, or maybe even into 2022, my website will always be the home of Project 2020. So when it comes to a Tuesday in Project 2020, this again is always kind of like the calm before the storm. But we can now officially see the light at the end of the tunnel. And, it's, and it was very, very minuscule back in March. It is now very, very bright because these three releases bring us into the 380s of 400, which means we are just six days away from seeing the rest of the set. We can taste it, we can see it, and it is almost here. But here's one thing I've always thought about in Project 2020. We know the artists that are in the set, but I've always wondered how many artists out there turn down this opportunity. You know, Tom's probably had in their original planning meetings for Project 2020, 30, 35 artists they could see as potential fits for this set. Obviously, they probably had some really big names out there and maybe a couple people that they knew on, this, on the lower side or people they wanted to give exposure to in the set. So there are probably some automatic yeses when Tops approached them. Maybe the artist was a baseball fan, but I've always been very, very curious. What artist said no? What artist said, you know what? I just can't give up nine months of the year to dedicate to this project. On the flip side, I've always also wondered who was artist number 19 and 20 to round out the group? Who were the last people in when you think of like picking the dodgeball team? Who was 19? Who was 20? At the same time, who was artist number 21 and 22? Who did Tops leave at the front door when they went to final stages of production when it came to Project 2020? So in reality here, just a couple of fun things to really think about. We'll probably never know who the last couple of artists in were. We're never going to know who said yes first. And we're probably never going to find out who Tops turned away or who whatever artist said no, thank you to the project. And I bring this up for one specific reason. At the end of the day, when this set ends, we are not going to be emotionally and physically connected to the actual cards. We are going to be connected to the artists and what their artwork means to us. And I bring this up because of the cards that released today. We have Grotesque with his Mark McGuire. We have Jacob Rochester with his Derek Jeter. And we have JK5 with his Cal Ripken. And as a fan of Project 2020 myself and someone who communicates about the set every single day, each of these artists means something differently to me. So for me personally, this was a very interesting day of releases when it came to these particular artists. Now getting some of the semantics out of the way, this is Grotesque's last card in Project 2020. This is also Mark McGuire's final card in Project 2020. And this is Jacob Rochester's final card in Project 2020. But taking a look at that JK5 Cal Ripken first, when it comes to an emotional attachment to JK5, there has not been another artist in Project 2020 that has made me question myself on what I like than JK5 has. When his first cards were released, I liked them, but not enough to pick them up. But then as the colors started evolving with them, I really started to like them more and more. And then towards the back half or the later third of the set, I liked them, but I kept forgetting to buy them. So it made me question, am I really a fan of JK5? And at this moment, there is no other artist right now. I do not know, am I in or am I out on JK5? I will pick up this Cal Ripken Jr. because I'm this far in, but I still do not have a complete set of JK5 cards. So he has made me question what I enjoy in Project 2020 because there are artists out there right now I can tell you I'm a massive fan of and there are artists I can tell you out there that I just do not like their cards at all. Now where I might be questioning my fandom of JK5, 
one artist that I have not questioned my fandom at all since the beginning of my entry into Project 2020, but it all started from a simple misunderstanding on my part, and that is Grotesque. And Grotesque, otherwise known as Kimu Meyer, ends his run in Project 2020 with this Mark McGuire. So when you go back to my very, very early Project 2020 videos, and you talk about Grotesque, what was my sort of draw to the cards? And it was all based around the number three. The three lines holding up the images are on top of the images. And that was me misunderstanding the card. For over a month, I missed the simple fact that there was a creature holding up the image. And here on this Mark McGuire, just like the Ricky Henderson, we have the elephants holding up the image. On top of the fact that these cards are symmetrical and from my mind, they are absolutely beautiful and it works and that is why Grotesque is always and will always be my favorite artist in Project 2020. And then closing out the releases and this artist has been an artist that has risen, in my opinion, from the bottom of the list to almost the top, not in the top three or four, he's not on my list of Sif, Natural, or Grotesque, but Jacob Rochester has had just a tremendous back half of Project 2020. No artist has improved their collection like Jacob Rochester, ha Jacob Rochester has, and I am excited that this, again, is a giveaway card. The person who guesses close to the print run is going to win a free copy of the card. So get those print run guesses in right now and hopefully you will win this card for free. So as they say, it is never about how you start, it is how you finish. And when I look back on Project 2020 in the next couple of years, Jacob Rochester is going to be that artist that I'm gonna talk about from how they improved from the beginning from card one all the way to card 20. So with that, I hope you have a fantastic evening and I'll see you back tomorrow night for episode number 137 of the Project 2020 Nightly News.